On the day of your operation, you will be asked to put on a surgical gown. You may receive a sedative by mouth and an intravenous line may be put in. You will then be transferred to the operating table. The surgeon will then apply antiseptic solution to the skin over the hernia. Place a sterile drape around the operative site and will inject a local anesthetic. Usually the surgeon will inject more than one spot to make sure that the entire area is thoroughly numb. Or in the case of a spinal, the anesthetic will be injected into the small of your back. After allowing a few minutes for the anesthetic to take effect, the surgeon will make a shallow incision three to five inches in length directly over the hernia. The next incision dissects through the inguinal canal itself and reveals the hernia sac, which is simply the peritoneum that lines the inside of the abdomen. The surgeon gently pushes the contents of the sac back into the abdomen. Next, the opening at the neck of the peritoneum is tied and the hernia sac is removed. The inguinal canal itself is closed with sutures. These dissolve over time and do not need to be removed. Any defect or weakness in the muscle tissue needs to be repaired in order to reduce the risk of reoccurrence. Occasionally, the surgeon will use a mesh patch to help reinforce this area. Then the muscle layers and other tissues are sewn together and the skin is closed with sutures or staples. Finally, a sterile dressing is applied.